Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Dawn Does Life and today it's all Timu, Timu, Timu. Where for art thou, Timu? <laughs> it is now in Canada and I got my first Timu order and I wanted to share with you the items that I got. I, I have been so curious about this thing. I have been seeing the name everywhere. I've been hearing people talk about it everywhere and honestly was feeling a little FOMO because it wasn't available in Canada. And now that it is, I kind of dipped my toe in the water with a few items to show you guys. Uh, what is Timu? Timu is an online marketplace that sells thousands of products at heavily discounted prices. On top of that, they have free shipping, free returns up to 90 days. They also have a guaranteed delivery date. And if they don't meet that delivery date, you get a $5 credit, which I got and my parcel was a day early actually. Um, I got a, a, email or a text or email from them a few days before saying that they were running behind and that the parcel might be delayed. And I ended up getting the $5 credit. I thought they would remove it when the parcel arrived on time, they did not. So that is good. They're trying to keep themselves accountable is what I'm thinking. I also wanted to let you guys know if you haven't tried Timu, this is the perfect opportunity for you to do so. I have a coupon code that will get you 30% off your very first purchase with Timu. And the code, I'll have it up here on the screen, is fave81191 and I'll also have it down in the description for you. If you're curious like me, absolutely, you can use that code. Okay, so first item, first item is like the strangest item. Uh, it is, and I'm just doing this in order of what's up here on my screen. This is a corn cob remover, like so removing the kernels off the corn. So this is called a stainless steel corn kernel separator, kitchen gadget, peeler, making salad corn kernels. Craziest, craziest names they have, I swear. But it has this kind of rounded out serrated blade and I'm just gonna show that to you there and what you do is just run it along your corn cob and remove your kernels off your cob I love corn on the cob but I don't like corn on the cob so I always have just taken a knife and sliced it off and saw this thing which I have never seen before and decided to put it in my cart I paid it says oh I paid two dollars and 42 cents for this and this was one of the items that was over two dollars so just slightly over two dollars and I thought it was totally worth it. the next thing I got was so this is for my shower and it's just a razor hook um the I, the caddy that I have in there right now I don't like it how it holds my razor and it always is falling off if you bump it the wrong way so I just wanted something that would hold it a bit better and I can already tell that this will it looks white but it's actually metal and it has a, a protective coating on the the top here so I'll just peel that back so you guys can see and it also has one of these 3m uh, strips at the back so just attach it to the wall I'm hopeful that this will work this one was a dollar 48 I think I thought I was getting two or three of them but it was just the one which is fine it's all I need it is actually on the site right now for 59 cents cool okay next item is my was my most expensive item and that is so they call this a shower grab bar shower handle, wall handle, shower handle for bathtub. And basically it's just something that suctions to the wall. So you would raise these two clips on the side. So I, this is one of those ones that has a really good grip. I have like a window mount in my car that's like this and it really does suction very, very well. So you just raise those, suction it onto whatever you want to and then you close these and it just increases that suction and I can tell you I've tried it. I actually will insert some video footage of me doing it right here on this table. It works very, very well. But it's not the reason I got this. I actually got this to hold my, my rulers when I'm cutting fabric because I oftentimes will be putting pressure down on the fabric at the same time that I'm trying to roll and uh, the ruler sometimes will shift slightly. So I just thought this, I think I, I have seen something very, very similar to this that other YouTubers have used and it seems to work very, very well. It uh, transfers the dispersion of the pressure across more than one place as opposed to just putting your hand down in the middle. So that's what I got this one for. It has good section, um, definitely. And this one was $6.58 is what I paid for it. And again, my most expensive thing on this list. All right, next item. 
I can tell you right now, okay, it's not good. This is another one of those little rollers and it can be used on your diamond paintings to roll down your diamonds. You can also use it to roll Cricut mats. So take a look at this, you guys. Look at how bendable that is. This is, it's so, so flimsy. Um, I am afraid that the first time I put any real force on this, it's going to snap. Just like, look at that. There, it's just not well made. I paid $2.98 for this. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if it was one of those lightning deals that was in my cart that went up in price and I just didn't notice it. But I don't I don't know why I thought that that was worth $2.98. It absolutely was not. And it is something that I will be returning. Next item is for my car. And it is, so I have metal, uh, clips hanging off the seat rest in my car. I have one on the passenger and one on the driver's side so that I can hang stuff in my back of my car. Every time I go over a bump, it clangs against the metal rest and I, it drives me mental. So this is a hard plastic. Uh, definitely I can't, I don't think I'll be hearing it clang, but it actually seems like it's very, very strong. And so you just slip that into the hook and then drape it over the back or the front of your seat. If you're in the car by yourself, I guess you could do it towards the front. And then you can hang your purse, you can hang a, a bags off here. And I do use mine and I, I really find it useful. It's just that when it's not in use, it's it was very noisy. The other one was very noisy. And I paid 88 cents for a package of two of these, which is way, way more than I paid for them off of Amazon. I'm just gonna tell you. These are just as sturdy, absolutely 100% worth the 88 cents I paid for the two of them. Next item, I have not had one of these for years. I did have one of these many, many years ago and I loved it. So these are perfume atomizers, mini travel perfume cases, and they are so cool. So they have a window in the front so you can see how much perfume you have in there. And then it's a little spray bottle when you take the cap off. And how you load it is, I guess if you took your perfume bottle, I'm just gonna pretend this is my perfume bottle, and then you just insert it into the bottom of one of these containers, and then you just pump it into here. And I loved the one that I had, but I lost it many years ago. And so I thought this was just a great idea. And again, it would be perfect for travel. Like if you wanted to have two different scents or more, um, just buy these and take these with you instead of your big bottle of perfume. Absolutely love these. And these were, okay, so they're currently sold out, but there there's tons of these, but it was $1.78 for one of these. So I, I totally thought that was uh, reasonable. I'm pretty sure when I bought mine, and again, like I said, that was many years ago, I probably paid like 15 to $20 for it. So, and it, I'm, when I look at this, I'm thinking it's the same size or very, very similar in size. So awesome, awesome. And pink, they had some really cool colors also. And I'm sure it's something that they'll come back into stock with, or there's uh, other stores that are selling it. I've seen many of these. Great deal, I thought. This next one is called a mini, well, it's a mini bag sealer. And there were a lot, I saw lots and lots of stores selling these as well. I paid $1.98 for this and I think it was completely worth it. I have tried it, it does work. So basically it takes two AA batteries, they do not come with it, so you will have to have them just so you know. And it has this little guard on it and then you just put the guard down and ca contact these two plates and I'm just gonna see if smoke comes off this because it it did for me. No, it doesn't seem to be. Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could see that coming off. Maybe I just wasn't squeezing enough, but do you see that? <laughs> so that's how you turn it on. There is no on and off power on it. And let me just see, I was, I was kind of practicing on a bag, but basically you would just take it, put it on your bag and then after a couple seconds, just start to slowly slide it down. You can Maybe you can see some smoke coming off this again. It definitely works, and that is now sealed. So for things like chip bags um, or just packages that you only used a bit and you wanna still keep the item fresh, that is what this is for. And I have tons of uh, chip bag clips and things like that that I use on the items that in my, like frozen vegetables or things in my freezer. And I always lose the clips, so now I have this and hope, I mean, this doesn't seem like something that I'll lose, especially if I keep it in my drawer. 
So yeah, that's what that's for. So the next item I got is this for my nails. Uh, it's a mini stamper and it has a jelly top on it that you can use on stamping plates. Now that's not why I want it. I actually have seen people put color onto the top and then just kind of bounce their nail into the gel and create a French tip. And I love French tips, but I can't do them on myself. So I thought I would give this a try. This one was $1.16. So if I can make this work, I love it. And who knows, maybe at some point I will want to stamp something on my nail. I don't know, but I thought it was worth the dollar to try to get my French tips again. Uh, the next item I got after that, and this is one that I purchased two of, is these peel off tape nail stickers. So the sheet looks like that. It has 10 on them and it is really, really good if you want to do nail art. And all it does is go around your nail and then it protects the skin. And if you make a mess, you're not then having to peel, especially if you're working with gel and you cure it. If you cure it on your skin, first of all, you can get a, an allergic reaction, but then also it will stick to your skin and it's just not good. And so I, I never try anything because I don't have the steadiest hands uh, to be able to do any kind of nail art. And I thought this would be fun to try. So I got two packs of them. This was also a dollar 16, which I also think was completely worth it to try. When I do art, I'm not doing it on every finger usually. Uh, so this package should last me for a little while. And if it works, I'll probably go back and buy more of them. Next item is for the sewing room and it is this, I got a package of five zipper slider puller instant zipper repair kit replacement for broken buckle travel bag suitcase zip. And it's just these, I'm gonna take one of them out and show it to you. It kind of has a sort of like a lanyard little pull to it. And then it's got this side here. And basically I have a winter boot right now that the zipper broke off but the zipper's still there, the zipper works fine, but the, the pull um, broke off. This would be perfect for that because my hands are totally getting chewed up from trying to grab the entire zipper and pull it up, which has worked. It's making my, my skin break. And so I saw these, I, I wasn't even looking for them. I just saw them in the, the lightning deals and uh, decided to give them a try. So for five of them, I paid $1.58 and I actually just clicked into it to give you the title and it actually is saying $1.39 for the five. That would work really good on uh, things like jackets and stuff too, I think. Totally worth it. Next item, also for sewing, but not uh, just for sewing. I've had a few of these, I always lose them, but this is one of those uh, retractable measuring tapes. I usually, I use it at my desk here to measure the sizes of diamond paintings, or, but you can use it to measure your fabric. Uh, there's many things that you could do with this. So I had two of them here and I lost one a while ago and haven't been able to find it anywhere in this room, which ugh, I don't know why. I don't know where it would have gone. And then I had another one here the other day and oh my God, I just found it. <laughs> Okay, so this one is more like a keychain and it's more quiet. That is the one thing I did notice about it. But this one, you can never have too many. I can put one by my sewing machine and honestly, I don't care if it clicks. I don't care if it's silent. It works perfect. It does exactly what I need it to do. Yeah, so I was wondering where this one went. I didn't order this one because I lost this one. I just happened to the other day misplace it, but honestly, I just, last night I was looking for it and I just turned my head and it was there. So it's like those things that are right in front of your face and you don't see them. So that one was $1.48, completely worth it. The very last thing I got is a desktop data cable manager and it's this thing here and it's just, it attaches with a sticker to the side of your desk and then you can run your cords through it. And this desk in particular has a ton of cords because I have lights and I have my camera and I have uh, my light pad cables and I have two different light pads. So that's two different cables. So I just thought this would be perfect. And you just would slide your cable into here and then as you need it, you can lengthen it or shorten it or whatever. And I, I honestly, I'm tired of seeing cables all across my desk. And some of my light cables will fall behind the desk and then I have to like fish up the cord just to get to the power switch. And so I thought this would be a really cool way to kind of manage them a little bit better on my desk to keep them off the desk 
but also not falling behind the desk. This one was $1.48, which I thought was, a, again, a really good price, and I've seen these on Amazon for much, much higher than that. Okay, so would I buy from Timu again? I actually would. I already have stuff in my cart ready to check out again. Overall, I would say every single thing on this table that I paid for, what I paid for, in most cases, I would have paid more for. And hopefully they keep their prices low because I think that is a real draw for them. And don't forget, if you wanna give Timu a try, I've got a coupon code for you, fave81191. It'll get you 30% off your cart at checkout. Let me know in the comments down below if you've already tried them. If you liked this video and you found it interesting, give me a thumbs up, I'd appreciate the support. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. You guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me while I unbox these. I thought it was a lot of fun. And if I get more items, I'm gonna be unboxing them again for you guys. That's it. Take care, have a great day. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye.